Hi Aries, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to your weekly reading. And um, I've got a lot of new decks and I've put the reviews out there, so go and have a look. Then I've got lovely news for you as well. There will be a competition later on. I've got to put a plan together on what uh, the competition will be about, but you can win a deck. You can. W this is m one of my used decks, vice versa. That's how they look like. And you can win a brand new Shadowland tarot deck from Monica Bodersky. Okay, so those are the two decks that are going to be up and running to be the for the winner, the lucky winner. I'm not going to say any news. So if you know anybody that would like to have a vice versa deck, if it's not yourself, or the Shadow Tarot deck, Shadowlands, new one, then please go and have a look at the Shadowlands, and they're really quirky and humoristic, they're beautiful, they're really exceptionally beautiful. And of course, uh, spread the news, share and like, tell everybody that there will be a competition, but you have to be a member. Okay, so uh, welcome. I hope you're well and safe. Ple uh, if you're new, welcome and thank you if you're a cyber angel. I do appreciate you coming back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love you all, as you know, and the live sessions are fantastic. The last couple of uh, weeks they've been really fantastic. So peaceful, so tranquil and friendly and respectful towards each other. It's amazing. Thank you. And so I'm doing this competition in showing to, in to get together with you and make a special bond and make the tea room and channel even more exciting. Now if you would like a one-on-one -on -one reading then please go to my website. You can click on this little white uh, circle or you can look at the information below each video and uh, there you can go to the website and you can see the updates I will be posting uh, more news updates this week and I will also be making a video on what the competition is going to be uh, uh, so ha I won't post it on YouTube I will just make a notice in the uh, community section Go to, I'll get and set a notice, go to the website and there you can see the video on what the competition is going to be like and what is expected. Okay, to win either decks. The first person, the winner can have a choice between either of the decks and the second person will get the remaining deck, I think. I'll just twig and tweet it. And there will be much more happening. So go and have a look at the reviews and give us your thumbs up and share the reviews and see whether you enjoy the decks. I've also got a small reading in some of the reviews. Okay, this is your reading though for the 25th to the 34th, the 31st of May 2020 and we are going, we are already in today in Gemini. So if you've got a Gemini around you, that might be their birthday, but it is an active sign, okay. And the first card is you've got the King of Pentacles. Look, he's the King, he's got the coin, or is the money bag? No, it's a money bag. Yes, you'll need to have a bag because everything he touches will turn to gold over time, as slow and steady as the snail. I think it's so wonderfully depicted. This could be the King of Pentacles is Taurus, but don't uh, um, exclude Virgo or Capricorn. But Taurus is the first house and that is the King. So Tor Virgo is the Queen and Capricorn is the Page. Okay, and also um, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles um, is also, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a dry mouth. The 
King of Pentacles is also Taurus, like I said. It is the Taurus that might be coming in or might be giving you some financial advice because we've got the letter underneath. So it could be your bookkeeper or a banker or a mortgage broker, anybody to do with finance. They could be sending you um, news. This could be because the bat flies through air, could be air mail, could be email, could, could be text message, or it could be a telephone call. Good news is coming to you because you are the king of pentacles, but you can also meet one. Okay, that was on Monday the 25th. Now on Wednesday, you've got plans. You've got loads of plans. And you've got this, or dreams, or wishes. You've got the Seven of Cups. So with this card, I always say, um, make a priority list. What do you want first? Do you want a job? Do you want passion? Like fire, passion, a house? Do you want money? So that means work. Or do you want to have children? Let your fantasy go with this card. It's got a snake here as well. I don't know what it means. Perhaps a study. And this one has got a mask. Or do you want a party? What is your wish? What is your dream? So make a priority list because there is a new beginning coming because you are in transformation at the moment. Okay? So make, see what which wish or dream could come into action or be fulfilled. And you do that by, yeah, m the magic wand. Make or write um, a list. It's like the school uniform. It also reminds me of the Centrinians. I don't think anybody in America or anywhere, anywhere outside the UK would know what the Centrinians is, but those were devilish schoolgirls and there were comedy films. And it looks like a school uniform. I think it's beautiful. It really makes your mind go boom, 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 round and round. Fa uh, fantasy as well as information. So you might be um, stirring up uh, a party, like I said, like mischievous party, like the Centurions always did. Okay, then you've got the coffin. You're in the transformational period. Oh, you might be started thinking of stu studying. You've got the little man, a book, getting knowledge. And you've got the king of pentacles. So there might have been a loss in the family and you might be inheriting, but usually the death card doesn't mean a real death. It means a transformational period, leaving an old period behind and going on to the new period, the new phase. And usually I say you're no longer the caterpillar, you're becoming a butterfly, like a wise old thing. You've gained knowledge and life experience. You've got eights. So that's that house of money and strength. Perhaps you have sold your house and that's why you're getting rediment on the profit of the house. Then at the end of the week we have the nine of pentacles. Look at this. Usually you see a well-dressed lady with a hawk on her shoulder, the bird of paradise, but money's coming your way. Again, a nine, an ending, new beginnings. You are very, very ambitious. Okay, now she might feel, you might have felt uh, stuck or imprisoned or pushed with your back to the corner, but that's over now because you can fly out of the cage. Money's coming. You can open new doorways, an ending, a new beginning. You've got the tower. Like I said, you might have finished your study now. So you've transformed into a wise old thing. And here you've got the tower. Now the tower in Lenormand is built on proper foundations. 
you might be moving out of your parents' house into an apartment. The flags can fly out with celebration. 19 becomes a 10 becomes a beginning, an ending and a beginning. So you are going up, 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 up. The basic meaning is don't forget the people around you that love you and have supported you because once you reach the top it will be very lonesome. Okay, but I always keep in mind the tower of ta and the tarot, okay? Unexpected changes. Something was not built on proper foundation. So if there is a sudden change or a loss of a friendship, that could be it. And then it is the tarot tower coming into play. So make sure that you've got all the information. Book. You see how it relates. You can see so much in a picture. A picture says a thousand words. Aries. And you've got the card 20 from the big arcana. Discretion. Okay. Now that is judgment. Yes. So discretion. Discretion. So <sighs> discretion means um, you might have empathy. There will be a resurrection. Again, a new beginning. Rebirth, disconcernment, reflection, perspective. You see a bird there, so he's flying high, this owl, so he can see everything what's happening, even the minutest thing like a mouse, because he has very sharp vision. You'll get another perspective. Ethics, you have wisdom, like I've been saying. You've got the book here. So you are wise. Wise is coming out definitely in this reading. Gaining knowledge. Getting a different perspective. And judgment it's in it is called in the traditional tarot. So it's a new beginning, rebirth. Okay. Or it could be a second chance. Beautiful reading you have, Aries. And you feel at home where you are because you've got the anchor and you've put down your anchor because you feel safe coming home to a safe haven putting your anchor down because you feel safe and you know the place and if you've got a question then the answer is yes and again 35 eights so you've got two eights in this reading the angels have your back beautiful overall you've got an 888 you've got two eights right and you've got an eight added up here you've got the eight of Pentacles your hard work is paying off you've got recognition you can leave a legacy behind Wow and this card means more or less the same as the uh, tower card in Lenaman public recognition so there could be a promotion a new job moving upwards but be careful of people that are wearing masks that are sly they're not true to your face because this is the fox he's wearing a mask and foxes are sly analytical people they can be mean slithery and like snake but this isn't the snake. But the fox can also be somebody that's not showing them tr uh, themselves truly. Okay, he he sheds his fur, but not his streaks. And that will bring you out of balance because you've got fourteen, five. So make sure that you are aware. Forewarned is forearmed. Okay, my darlings. But perhaps in the other sense, it could also mean work. Somebody might be looking at you to get give you this promotion, okay? But they're not telling you. So work to detail and be analytical. Dot your I's and cross your T's. That is what this card means. 
Okay. Somebody's noticing you, or has noticed you. So, and then we've got the ring. So you might be forming partnerships. You might be getting engaged. You might be getting married. That's the ring from the Lenormand, the new deck. I've done a review on that as well. 25, 7, luck is on your side. And here you've got the Ace of Clover. So it could be with a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo you might be forming a partnership with. So that's the fire signs. Then we've got the King of Pentacles and that is Taurus. Okay. Let's have a look. That's it. And then we go on to the crystal. Now if you haven't got Amethyst and you would love to... Um, sorry, I've got so many cards here. <laughs> Um, you've got number four, so something stability is with you this week. Okay, now um, what I've discovered myself is if you haven't got the money or if you haven't got the uh, time to go out and get a piece of amethyst, because you can get them on fairs and you can get them in stone shops and arts and craft shops to beat yourself a, 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 a necklace, for example. There are stone shops. Amethyst is it gives you rest. It gives you it's good for migraines, it's good for headaches, peace and tranquility. And amethyst is also good for the unconscious habits and familiarity. And old patterns need to be released. That's why you might be getting headaches, because I can feel somebody is having headaches. Okay, Aries. Just remember, the autopilot takes over when we require a rest from a mental overload. So you need to take rest. By the reaction of the amethyst spirit, brings a reminder to stop surrendering to f the familiar. Be mindful. Mindfully present to the now and examine your habits. So be aware of what is happening around you. And that is also be aware who's watching. Be aware that you've got recognition for your hard toil, loyalty and hard work. You've gained the wisdom. Beautiful. Now, this is the White Witches Terrier, uh, uh, White Witches Tarot, and this is only the Big Arcana. And I love these cards, especially if you want a tattoo. And this is the Chariot. Now I've made a review on this deck. There's only 22 cards in the Major Arcana, and the Chariot also means public recognition, victory. You're moving onwards and for upwards and forwards. You've got victory. You're a hero or a heroine. You have won. You might be moving home. You might be traveling. Like I said, you might be leaving your parents' house and moving into an apartment of your own in a high-rise. You might work in a high-rise. But you will always so m could be moving up, getting the promotion. Public recognition. Wow. Okay. And then the last card I did make. Um, whilst I've got you here, um, we have. Uh, I'll show you what Aries is, and Aries is the Emperor. So if you are a tattoo freak, <laughs> I've got a tattoo. Uh, but I, I would love to have one of these done. As there isn't, it's a beautiful one. I can't find her now. But we need the emperor. So the emperor is Taurus, and that is what your tattoo would like 
be like if you wanted the to to for tour uh, uh, Aries. Okay, and I think it's so magical. It's like in a lot of the decks, it's black and white. You've got the two sides, okay, but you've got the hawk here, and you've got the wing there. And I'll show you another one. And this is the lovers. This is Gemini. Here you can see that one side is lighter and this side is darker. But this is you, the Emperor. Um, I've made a review on this and you can see all the cards if you want to choose another picture for a new tattoo. And underneath the review I've put all the star signs and the um, uh, tarot card next to the zodiac sign beneath the video, the review. Okay, now we've got the postcard from Spirit. You are loved, that's what it says down here. It's very difficult to see. They should have done it a little bit darker. Dearest Aries, it says dearest you, but I'm addressing you Aries, so I'm saying dear Aries. Everything is in divine order, even in chaos. There is order, and we are always in awe of this. For you though, on your human journey, things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter, whether it is too many stories in your mind, or too many what-ifs or fearful thoughts. The amethyst relates to the amethyst. That's what it said. It clears, uh, helps to clear up your mind. I'll get back to that card in a minute. Of the past or future. Instead, focus on the now. Empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any object that tells you an unfor uncomfortable story. Discern what you may discern what you have. Sort, purge, s sorry, sort, purge, clear, and organize. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Spirit loves a vacuum, as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you, and give order to what remains. See them, and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to the spirit free of distractions. You are so adorable, adored by so many. Oh yes, recognition, it says in the reading. We hope you really know that. And I'll hold it up so that you can take a screenshot of it. beautiful card. So declutter your life, your head, and you'll feel new. So there will be room for new things to come in. Now with the amethyst, if you don't, and like I said, if you haven't got a stone shop or if you can't buy amethyst, then go to Pinterest and you can find the cards from Collet Baron Reed the crystal spirit it's called I've done a review on that last week okay you can print it and you can whilst you're meditating or uh, contemplating and evaluating you can put it on your chest or you can hold it or you can frame it it's like a visionary board so let the energy come out it's really vibrant okay take action Look at the orange. So you might be having a difficult time, and you or your busy time at the moment. So come out of your mind and ask the amethyst spirit to help you lessen the stress and the pain in the head. 
I hope you've loved this reading and I hope to see you in the life and I hope people are really motivated to join in to this competition it would be lovely love 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 I've had the permission from the publishers to give away a deck okay so take care and show your appreciation please by giving us the thumbs up and share with family and friends ciao ciao stay well